something like Outreach Ministry, where our pastor is Bishop Alton F. Pettit. This is the day that the Lord yes, has made, we and we will rejoice yes. and be glad in yes. it. Let's give God a praise. Thank you. We thank you for joining us this morning again at Evening Life Christian Outreach Ministry. We're here at 222 Crane Highway in Upper Marlboro, Maryland, each Sunday at 10 a.m. As some of you know, we're also streaming to Facebook and we'll be on YouTube as well. Second Sunday, which is today, is Women of God Sunday. Tuesday at 7 p.m. is Bible study via Zoom. And Wednesday is intercessory prayer. We ask you to join us in prayer on Wednesday. There's so much to pray for. And while I'm speaking of that, I'm not going to read the prayer request list, but I want you to know that there are a couple of people on there that need deliverance from drugs. Um, our granddaughter lost her grandmother. Um, there's just so much to pray for. People need healing, salvation. So please join us in prayer on Wednesdays. Our announcements are as follows. Our speaker today is Dr. Agnes Benson, and we want to welcome her. Let's welcome her. She is from True Deliverance Church of God Ministry. At 3 p.m., Bishop Pettis will be the speaker at Pillars of Faith Holy Church which is located at 501 Brian Point Road in Akakeet, Maryland. That's where Bishop Melvin Wills is the pastor. Our Tuesday Bible teaching starts this coming Tuesday, September the 12th. The textbook is Evangelism for the 21st Century. Our Bible study is via Zoom. If you would like the meeting ID, feel free to contact us. We'll be more than happy to share that with you. Join us on Saturday, October the 13th, for our prayer walk here at the church property. That's 222 Crane Highway in Upper Mall, Rural, Maryland. There will be various prayer stations where you can just walk the property and pray. Yes. I was listening to a song this morning by a, a young lady that really ministers to me, and the name of the song is Pray. Right. And in that song, she says, when you pray, God hears us. He will answer yes. your prayers. And she talked about the demons fleeing and that we have the victory. So join us October the 13th for our prayer walk, that will be from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Sunday, October the 22nd, the only service we will have will be at 12 p.m. Bishop Pettis will be the speaker at Cedar Lane Bible Way Church, 630 West Main Street in Percival, Virginia. That's October 22nd at 12 p.m. Bishop Alfred Archer is the pastor. If you're available, we'd love to have you join us. Tell someone to meet us at the light, where our mission is to teach, train, equip, and empower the body of Christ to live the abundant, victorious life as we await the imminent return of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Our contact information is as follows. You may contact us via email at theeveninglight.light at aol.com or 301-390-390. 7099. Ways to make a donation to this ministry 
are as follows. Our website is www.eveninglightchurch.org. There is a donate button there. Another option is Givelify, Evening Light Church of Christ, PayPal, Evening Light Church, or Cash App. That's dollar sign E L C O M 12. Dollar sign E L C O M and the number 12. The last option is mail. Post Office Box 4854. In Upper Marlboro, Maryland, 20775. We thank you in advance for your prayers, your love, and support of this ministry. Unknowingly, 
that she was being groomed to be a pastor's wife. Co-pastor Vincent's compassion is outreach, counseling, and ministry to the lost. She is a member of the Holiness Ministers, Wives, and Widows Council. She is also the founder and director of ARM, A-R-M, Support Services, where her motto is giving a loving arm to the community. She is a nationally certified counselor and practice as a licensed professional counselor and certified sex offender therapist in Maryland, the District of Columbia, and Virginia. She and her husband founded Social Change, a nonprofit vocational organization supporting ex offenders in their transition back into the community. Additionally, she partners with her husband in managing AV Enterprise, a real estate investment company. Co Pastor Benson is dedicated to her husband, family, and dog, Benjamin. She receives joy in partnering with her husband in ministry. Her husband is her pastor, business partner, confidant, and best friend. They work as a team specializing in teaching, preaching, providing marriage counseling, and training clergy leaders and their spouses. She loves books and enjoy working in her library and kickboxing. Her favorite scripture is Galatians 9, and let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Praise God for this powerful woman of God. So we know that we have something to look forward to. I'm going to ask Pastor to come with the offering. We're going to have one song and we'll move on from there. Praise the Lord and good morning. Praise the Lord. We thank the Lord for being back in the house of God one more time. Let's just give God a hand. Let's all stand as a matter of fact. Let's just praise him. Can you just take a minute out to shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. If you've been good and you know it, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, Lord. Shift it, shift it, God. We thank you, Lord. You can be seated in the presence of the Lord. I hear the tambourine. Uh oh. <laughs> praise God. Praise God. We greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So glad to be back once again this Sunday morning and to our guest, uh, Dr. Agnes Vincent, and to all the saints of God, to our brother and sisters. <laughs> all right. Hey, hey, hey. This, this day, look. Let's, let's do our, our offering and our tithe. Those of you, there should be an envelope in your bulletin. And of course, as, as uh, Lady Pettis, she gave out the yeah, as also in your bulletin are the ways to give. They're in your bulletin as well if you're going to do Cash App, PayPal, or Gifify.com. Make sure you do Gifify.com. Amen. Amen. Those that are giving of your tithe, those that are giving of your offering, we thank God in advance. Amen. 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 And if you need an I think everyone has one. Okay, let's stand for prayer and then if you would come out. On, uh, yeah, we can do that today. Come out, I think that's your left. Come around, please. Don't forget our missions. Our missions is our change for it's really quarters, dimes, and nickels. Uh, but we've got, we've got some members, and every once in a while, the Lord even touches my heart. I put 20s in there and 10s, in the, and, and I tell you, the Lord has blessed us. We were able to, to, uh, Sponsor a, a one of the brothers in college, to give him a five hundred dollar scholarship okay. from our missions. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. It goes to feeding the hungry 
uh, Elizabeth House, to those that are those that are homeless. And so the Lord is blessing. Amen. Amen. So if you have some coins, please put that in. Lord God, we thank you now. We thank you for all that you've done, how you've watched over us this past week. We thank you, Lord, that through it all, we know we are blessed and highly favored. And we thank you, God. Now, I'm asking you this morning, as you have always done before, 30, 60, 100-fold blessings on the gift, on the gift and the giver, God. Abundant blessings, Lord. Pressed down, running over, shaking together. Men, men, God, cause men to do it. In the name of Jesus, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. If you want to come right out. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Amen. 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 While they're coming, I'm going to play the song that gives him glory. And we thank the Lord. Come on, make some noise out there. All of you that love the Lord. All of you don't have to praise and magnify the name of the Lord. Oh, come on, you can get excited, get excited, get excited, get excited. Get excited. Thank you. 
that. Yeah. And we know for no man can work with his life. Oh, Point three, don't let no one take your crown. Right. Turn up the loins of your mind, work while it's day, and let no one take your crown. So we get into point number one. Gird means, as I looked it up, prepare yourself mentally to deal with difficult times. Prepare and strengthen yourself for what is to come. Prepare yourself for hard work. Uh -huh. That's right. Gird in the Old Testament, it talked about when you gird your loins, it meant to take a robe and tie it about your waist. It's like an apron, ladies. Take a robe and tie it about your waist so that you can move and run much more quickly. Get right. ready to work. Yeah. Right. I tell you, and then the Lord gave me a definition. Here's my definition. Uh, yeah. Practice living in the future tense. Uh -huh. yeah. Let's focus our minds on the return of Christ. In yeah. living and working hard for him, then you will have a girded and focused mind. Because there's so much going on in the world. War, economic problems, gas prices, food prices. My husband is a chicken connoisseur, so he really follows the chicken price. <laughs> if he were here, he would say amen. Social media. Yes. It's contributing to social issues, comparison issues, yes. information overload for our young people, yes. wickedness in high places. Yes. Let's look at our politicians, oh, amen. God. And even in the churches, amen, oh, they don't reference God, reference God like they did before. Right. People's love wax cold, capital right, wow. murder in the street, yes. car, taking people's cars just because they want to, That's amen. Right. That's Criminals are getting younger and younger. Y'all get it yet? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. We got to grow up our mind. We got to get our minds focused. We got to stay on the task. Work while it's day. For when night comes, no man can work. Right. Hallelujah. So we got to get sober minded. We got to have our mind fixed, steady, firm, and purpose, resolute, faithful, unwavering, firmly established, yeah. fixed in place. Yeah. Because if not, we're going to lose it. And we're going to talk about how we're going to do this. And when we do this, part of it, what the Lord gave me in my definition, is we got to think futuristic. futuristic. Not like the psychics. <laughs> guessing what the future will be. Because we know what the future will be. John 14 and 3 said, if I go, and I, if I go and prepare a place for you, yeah, I will come again yeah, yeah, and right. receive you unto yeah. myself, yeah. that where I am, yeah. there ye may be yeah. also. Yeah. So we know what the future is going to be. Yeah. We got to grow up our mind. Yeah. Titus 2 and 13 said, looking for that blessed hope yeah. Yeah. that the glorious appearing of the great God in our Savior Jesus Christ. Yeah. So let's gird up our minds. Let's be sober. Let's yeah. hope in the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And as we continue in Peter, the whole theme of First Peter, mm. as I was looking in my Bible, was to exalt the believers to stand true in all kinds of suffering. Yes, yes. To stand true. Because yes. as you know, he was writing to the Christians, yes. but they were called strangers yes. because they were scattered abroad. Yes. They were scattered abroad. They were going through suffering and, and persecution for living godly lives. Yeah. It's sort of like what we go through today for what we want to stand for. Yeah. And so many things come up against it. Yeah. But Peter knew where the persecution was coming yeah. from, yeah. from the Roman Empire. Yeah. Hallelujah. But he was encouraging the Christians, amen, to gird up the loins of their mind and to be sober-minded. He was encouraging them. Don't waver. Don't take back. Amen. And in 1 Peter, I'm going to go through a few verses just to remind us what he was saying to them. 1 Peter 1 and 3 said, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm going to slow it down because I get excited and talk too fast. He said, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy, my God, his abundant mercy has begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. So that's our hope. We got a place to be. So we got a hope in Christ Jesus. We got to keep that hope before us. Because guess what? It's not going to get easier. This is the beginning of sorrow. Murders every weekend, that's the beginning of sorrow. Food shortage, that's the beginning of 
sorrow. I went to the Safeway by my house the other day, and they had one door boarded up. You only can go in and out one door. Yes, yes. Why? Because they were what they call bomb rushing the safe, yes, the, the food right. stores yes, now. Yes. So about 20, 30, 40 people yes. were busting the store and taking as much food as they could yes. possibly yes. take. Yes. I'm telling you, we're living in the last yes. day. Yes. First Peter 1 verse 4 said, To an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you. So we don't praise God for anything else. Praise him because we are saved. Amen. And this yeah. inheritance yeah. is everlasting. Yeah. It's undefiled. Yeah. Yeah. It won't tarnish. Yeah. They can't steal it like they stole the food out of the faithway. No. It's reserved in heaven yeah. just for us. Yeah. And you can't take mine, and I can't take yours. Yeah. So let's keep living yeah. like we got somewhere to go. Because yeah. it's going to get worse around us. Yes. Verse 6 says, Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, yes. if need be, you are in heaviness through manifold temptation. It can feel heavy. But verse 7 says that the trial of your faith, being much more precious, that's all right, Pastor, help me out. Yes. Bit of gold that perishes, mm. though it be tried by fire. Yes. Job can tell us about yes. that. Yes. Might be found unto praise and honor yes. and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It's all going to be worth it. Yes. Yes. It's all going to be worth it yes. at the appearing of Jesus Christ. Yes. Job 23 and 10, the Amplified said, but he knows the way that I take, and he pays attention to it. When he has tried me, yes. when the trials and tribulations yes. come, yes. I think of the Lord, he trusts me to go through. Yes. He know I'm not going to turn yes. back yes. like Lot's wife. Hallelujah. He trusts me to go through. Yes. He said, when he has tried me, I will come forth as refined gold, pure yes. and luminous. I will come forth and steer go. So I'm encouraging you today to continue to stand. Gird up the loins of your mind. Be sober as obedient children that that continues to go on. Fashion yourselves according, not according to the former life. Mm -hmm. But how do we do this? How do we do this? Yes. How do we oh. do this? It, said, it tells us, again, in verse 14, as obedient children, not fashion yourselves according to the former lust in your ignorance. But as he which has called you is holy, be ye holy. holy. How do we do that? <laughs> in the scripture. We got to stay in the word of God. Right. At the end of this, I wrote down my devotion because my mind can be over intellectual. <laughs> I can try to fix it. I can think what I learned in school can fix it. Mm -hmm. I think because I nurtured and mother kids and a pastor's wife that I know how to nurture it. Yeah. But I can't. It's got to be the word of God that lines up my mind. I got to have my daily devotion. I got to have my night devotion. I got to have a deep study in the word on Saturday somewhere. And then in, in, in December, I read the whole book of Luke. I got to keep the mind one chapter a day. Because if I don't keep my mind girded up, amen, I'm going to be taken down. Hallelujah. Just like everything is falling all around us. I'm reminded of Brother David when he encouraged himself in the Lord. You remember David, hallelujah. He and his men, when they got back to Ziglag on the third day, the Amalekites, hallelujah, they had smitten the land. They had taken their wives and taken their children, and they had burned it with fire. Yes, yes. And the people began to come up against David, yes. and they began to talk to him about stoning him. In verse 30 of 1 Samuel and 6, it said, and David was greatly depressed. Yes. He was greatly depressed. Yes. His mind needed girding up. Right. Hallelujah. I was yes. encouraging my husband last year, Pastor Fabian. Yes. So much was going on. People didn't know if they wanted to stay in the church of God. Uh, uh, People yeah. didn't want to show up for Bible study or prayer service. Yeah, and right. I began to encourage him. Yeah. I said, you remember David? Uh, when he got back and his wife was gone, yeah, 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 he yeah. began to encourage himself in the Lord. He had appetite and bring me my ephod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he wouldn't. He stood before the Lord. And he said, Lord, yeah. I'm going to continue to work. God. I'm building up my loins right now. The men is desiring to kill me. But what say you? Shall I pursue? Will I overcome? The Lord said, pursue. And you will overcome. Let's give the Lord a hand. Up the 
your mind. Gird up the loins of your mind. Because Matthew 24 and 8 tells us this is the beginning of Psalms. This is the beginning of Psalms. So point one was to gird up the loins of your mind. Point two, work while it's day. For when night comes, no man can work. Yeah. That's John 9 and 4. I must work the works of him that sent me while it's day. The night coming when no man can work. So day in this scripture represents our lifetime. Day represents our lifetime. Night represents death. So here the scripture is talking about how, thank you, how God had commissioned Jesus to do so many things that we know. Miracles and works and, and all of these types of things. And this scripture is talking about that. And then Jesus began to say, while the day is the light's last, mm -hmm. for the grave no man can work. Y'all get the picture because it's coming down to us. Yes. The night coming, when we're in the grave, yes. when the death is upon us, we cannot work. Life is short, so let's take advantage of the time that the Lord has given us. Yes. What does he commission us to do? Mm -hmm. What does he commission us to do? Have big churches? No. <laughs> Have lots of money and land? No. Did he commission us to do that? He didn't commission. Did he commission us to do uh, one time? I said, well, Lord, I'm going to have this degree and that degree yeah. and, and this status and that status. That's all right. Yes, but you still need it. Yeah. But in this place. But he commissioned us, amen, to do a work. To be a witness for him. Yeah. Work while it's day, but when night comes, no man can work. So the intentions of your mind and the intentions of your heart as you gird it up is to be winning other souls to Christ Jesus. We can't take nothing else to heaven. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 12, 13. It says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole man. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. Fear God and keep his commandments. And what is his commandment? What is his commission? Matthew 28, 18 to 20. Matthew 28, 18 to 20. That's what the whole Bible is all about. Amen. The Old Testament points to the New Testament, and the New Testament confirms the Old Testament and tell us what to do. Go and make disciples. Matthew 28, 18 to 20 says, Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, That was Matthew 28, 18 to 20. Say, All power was given unto me in heaven and in earth. Absolutely. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Ghost. And then what did he say? Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the world. You hear it says that Jesus came and he said, He all power was given unto me. And that power, Acts 1 and 8 there says, you But ye shall receive power. power. That's Acts power. 1 and 8. Yes. After the Holy Ghost has come upon yes. you, yes. and he shall be what? Witnesses. Witnesses. Yeah. Yeah. Witnesses. Yeah. Witnesses. Yeah. Work while it's day. Yeah. Unto Pope in Jerusalem and all the Judea and the Samaria and unto the other posts, the other parts of the earth. Yeah. To, to your friend Boo. To your neighbor, to the peace of the people in your workplace, hallelujah, your whole neighborhood, the city, abroad, Africa. He said, in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and to the uttermost parts of the earth, work while it's day. Because when night comes, no man can work. And as we finish our point two, I'm reminded of Paul. Paul went through so much. And you can read all about him all through the scriptures. 2 Corinthians 11 chapter, the latter verses, starting at 23, it talks about Paul. He was working while it was there. He said, are they minister of Christ? I speak as a fool. He said, I am more in labors, more abundant in stripes, <laughs> above measure, in prison more frequently. He said, I did more than that. What are you talking about? In death off of Jews five times received our 40 stripes, say one. Beaten 40 strikes, same one. He said, Thrice, three times was I beaten with rock. Once was I stoned. Yes. He was stoned for dead. He said, Thrice, I shut up a shipwreck, a night and a day, and I had been in the deep. 
He said, journeys often in perils. Hallelujah. Robbers. Hallelujah. He said, perils in my own countrymen. People that knew me. People that were with me. He said, in perils by heathen, in perils by the city, in weariness, painfulness. But what Paul do? He kept on working. <laughs> he kept on working. He worked while his day, because he knew his night was coming. He knew his death was coming. In 2 Corinthians 12, 9 and 10 says, and he said unto me, y'all write this one down, 2 Corinthians 12, 9 and 10. Hallelujah. I hope I ain't going too fast. I'm a fast talker. <laughs> 2 Corinthians 12, 9 and 10. And take this for And he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for me. My grace. I'm going to give you grace, Paul. I'm going to be the strength when you know that in his strength. Hallelujah. I'm going to be your encourager. I'm going to send the raven to feed you. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm going to be your encourager when nobody yeah. else is encouraging. He said, my grace is sufficient for me, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Yeah. Most gladly, therefore, will I be rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. All that he went through, he said that the power of Christ may rest upon him. Yeah. He said, therefore, I take pleasure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I take pleasure yeah, in shipwreck. I take pleasure in being stolen. Yeah. I take pleasure in being stripped yeah. and striped with whips. Yeah. I take pleasure in infirmities and reproaches and necessities and persecution and distresses for who? For Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Yeah. Let's give a yeah. 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 We can take on that same attitude. Things gonna come, but work while it's safe. Know the purpose that you work in. Will it affect the kingdom of God? Yes. Will it affect the kingdom of God? My last point. My last point. Don't let no one take your crown. Don't let no one take your crown. Because while you're on this journey, you're gonna run against some people and some things. It's going to affect your feelings and your emotions, but don't let it take your crown. Holly, no trial, no test, no tribulation, no person, no thing, not in your, not even yourself. Sometimes I got to rebuke my own yeah, self. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, Agnes, you're not going to think that way. You're not going to act that way because the love of Christ is on the inside of you. Somebody is watching you. Yeah. 2 Corinthians 4, 8 through 12 said, We are troubled on every side. That was 2 Corinthians 4, 8 through 12. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. My God, cast down, President Boston, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus. That's my mind. That the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. And hallelujah, let's bless the Lord. We are troubled on every side. People might come up against us. Lady Pettis, they might leave us out. The word may get back that they talk bad about us. All these things may happen and then in our own life. Uh, we may be going through financial something right. or body illness something right. or relationship something. Yeah. But don't let nothing, nothing. take your crown. Right. And I'm reminded of Sister Hannah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Remember Hannah? Hallelujah. Her stories about infertility. They were talking about that. There's a story about infertility that trusted God. Bullying but answered prayer. Yeah. Remember Hannah was Elkanah's wife, yeah. hallelujah, but he had another wife. And every year when they would go <laughs> offer praises and prayer and sacrifices yeah. to the Lord, yeah. Hannah would pray, yeah. hallelujah, yeah. to refer them to have a child yeah. every year. But Elkanah's other wife, hallelujah, yeah. she was having children. That's right. And she would talk Hannah. That's right. But one day, Hannah girded up her mind. She girded up her mind. She could no longer bear the pain. And she went where? She went to the temple, y'all. She went to the temple. She began to supplicate before the Lord. She began to supplicate for the Lord. She said, she cried out to the Lord. And she wept bitterly, Lord. She said, I don't want this woman to take my crown. 
Is she anything like me? Let Lord touch my heart. I don't want to go up against her chin. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. I'm going to behave myself. I don't want to tell her a piece of my mind. Lord, touch my heart. I don't want anybody to take my crown. She began to pour out flour that Eli thought that she was drunken. But she said, I'm just pouring out my soul to the Lord. I'm pouring out my soul so that no one can take my crown. And as you know the story, she bare a son, a man child. His name was Samuel. He said, Lord, I'm going to give him back to you. I'm going to give him back to you, Lord. The Lord answered her prayer. But she went to the temple. She didn't let nobody take her crown. So remember, thanks to God, gird up the loins of your mom. Work while it's dead. And that don't let nobody take your crown. In the other part of this, don't let nobody take your crown. Revelation 3.11. Revelation 3.11 said, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man taketh your crown. Because Christ is going to come quickly. He was talking to the church of Philadelphia, a, a goodly church, one that got the accolade. They weren't greatly known, but they loved God. They were pure, they were holy, they were faithful. And that's what we got to do. We got to put God first. Hallelujah. And so they they pressed in, and the Lord, he remembered them. He remembered them. If you don't mind, I would like to read that. If somebody get it for me, that's Revelation 3, 11. If they get it before me, I just want to read that in your hearing. Amen. That's Revelation 3, 11. Amen. Thank you. And I'm sorry, and I'm going to read it again. I'm sorry, Missioner Sherlin. I read it because we are on the mic. I just remember that they are recording. But thank you. It said, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man taketh thy crown. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God. And he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name yes. of my God in the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God. And I will write upon him my new, my new name. He that has a hear, let him hear, hear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. And he was saying unto them, I hear you. I hear you. Hold fast. You may not be greatly loved, known, but you love my word. You study my word. You hope in me. Hold fast that no one will take your crown. Amen. So in conclusion, saints of God, gird up your loins, work while it's dead, and let no one take your crown, because our reward is in heaven. Yes. Our reward is in heaven. Yes. Yes. Our reward is in heaven. Yes. If you do it for man's sake, your reward is down here on earth. I'd rather have my reward in heaven. Yeah. Romans 8, 18 said, For I reckon yes. that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which should be revealed unto us. Revealed in us. Colossians 3 and 2. Colossians 3 and 2. Set your affection on things above, not on things of the earth. Amen. And remember James 1 and 12. Yeah. Says it all. Blessed is the man, yeah. Pastor and Lady Patty, yeah. that endures temptation, yeah. Yeah. for he shall receive the crown of life, yeah. Yeah. which the Lord has promised to them that love him. Yeah. Can we stand and give the Lord a hand? Yeah. God's praise. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's bless the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah.
or the rain this morning, if you're not sure where you will go, you're in the right place today. Just open up your heart and say, Lord, I repent of all my sins. And Lord, I invite you to be Lord and Savior of my life. I repent, Father, I repent. And Father, I pray my prayers that I will go to you when you return. I believe that you are risen, Savior, that you were buried and you died and rose again on the third day. And if you're here today in this women's service and you need your mind girded up, grab hold to Christ right now. Open up your heart and your mind as we pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come to you today. Hallelujah. And Father, we thank you, God, for this service on today. Oh, that you preordained yes. all yes. this day. Yes. You did this, Father. You knew this day was coming. And Father, first we lift up the angel Hallelujah. and first lady of this house, yes, Father. Lord. Pastor and Lady Pettis, that you will be with them, Father. Yes. Oh, God, as they labor in love, God, be the strength beneath their wings, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, send laborers, God, send members, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, they build up the kingdom of God in this place, God. Upon this rock, they will build your church, and the gates of hell will not dwell against it. Open up the windows of heaven, God, and meet the need, God. Father, we believe in you, and you don't give the vision without provision. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And Father, we believe it right now in the name of Jesus. Yeah. God, we pray for everyone under the sound of my voice yeah. today, God, yeah. that you will help us to gird up our minds, God. Yeah. Allow us to be steadfast, yeah. not immovable, yeah. God. Plenty like a tree by the rivers of water. Yeah. Oh, God, when the trials come, yeah. the tribulations yeah. come, yeah. oh, God, we may sin, God, but we will not break, God. Because we know that you are with us yes. and your grace is sufficient yes. for us. Bless right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. Someone is facing God, an employment issue on yes. today. God, we ask you to open the doors of heaven, God, and bless them right now. In the name of Jesus, your word said that you will open doors that no man can shut. And that you will shut doors that no man can open. Bless right now, God. We give you all honor and glory, Father. Oh, God, as we gird up our loans, as we work all the day, as we guard our hearts on the head, God. Bless us indeed, God. As we forever give you all honor and praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 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 Highway and they're 
they're putting in a new electric lines out yeah. there. Yeah. And I was, uh, there was a young man laying on the ground. Mm -hmm. uh, lunchtime. Lunchtime, he was just out there laying on the ground. And I came up into the triangle. There's a little triangle up there. Uh, that's another whole message. Uh, but I stood there for a few minutes. And the Lord said, ask him if you bring out tables and chairs, will they come and eat under the tree? Mm -hmm. I, I've shared with Evening Light that it's time for a new thing. We're not doing things the old way anymore. Yeah, that's right, that's right. And, and when the Lord first laid that on my heart, I, I just kind of stood there and said, whoa, no, that, that can't be you, God. What are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it began to burn. Anybody know about the Lord burning you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I went to that young man. I said, I said, if, if I put a table and some chairs out here, would y'all come up here and eat your lunch? Yeah. And he was shocked yeah. that I offered it to him. Wow. He's looking at me, and I'm looking at him, yeah. and he says, "Yes, wow. we'll be glad to go." Oh God! Oh God! I, I had to share it with one of my brothers. There you go. I shared it with him. Oh God. And he said, Pettis, just because they'll be on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Just because you were here this morning. Yeah. I'm praying the prayer. Yeah. Just because yeah. sisters, you are here today. Yeah. Lifting up the name of yeah. Jesus. Yeah. God's going to touch. Do yeah. I have a witness yeah. in here? Yeah. I said, God's going to touch. Yeah. Yeah. I got to get out of that. Hey! Yeah. Hallelujah! We got to burn up our wounds. Yes, yes, you just can't let it go. And you say, well, no, 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 God, that ain't you. That ain't you. No, no, no. We got to stand on that word. And does it matter to me if it's one or ten or a hundred and not the least bit? The only thing that matters is you do what God shall we pursue. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was the question. Yeah. Shall we? Somebody? Oh God! Yeah. Oh, come on, y'all need to stand because I feel yeah. I feel something. I don't, yeah. don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. But somebody's pursuing. Somebody's asking God right now. Somebody's asking God, "Shall I pursue?" And God gave me the answer this morning. He said, "Pursue." Somebody look at you, baby. Tell him, "Pursue." Encourage him to pursue. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Thank you for the word. Thank you for the word, Lord. That encouraged us, God. Thank you for the word. Oh, my God, that established us this morning. Thank you for the messenger today, God. Thank you for the messenger today. Hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Those on the airways, those that are listening around the world that will hear this message, God. Oh, it's your divine yes. plan, and we thank you. We thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Name of now, God, as we leave this place, but never your presence. Yes. Whoo, God, protect yes. us. Yes, Lord. Guide us. Yes, Lord. <laughs> and keep us. Yes. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Everybody shout amen. amen. Shout amen again. Amen. One more time, amen. amen. Come on, greet your brothers and sisters. In the name of the Lord, amen, amen.